Good morning. So quarter to nine. What a horrendous night sleep I had. It was absolutely freezing. I, mean, I know I mentioned last night I went to bed a bit earlier because it's just so cold and it was windy. Oh, I ended up with hardly any pillow because all the contents of uh, the items that I was using as a pillow I'm wearing these. I ended up sleeping in there, so putting all my other t-shirts on. My feet were numb. Plus, I wanted, I was in a bit of a slant as well, so I hardly, hardly slept last night. But what a beautiful morning. It's a shame uh, I didn't get any astral, or many astral photography shots. In fact, um, I did set my alarm for half nine. But uh, when I got up to go for a wee the first time out of three, I decided to sod that. I just cancelled the alarm and um, woke up again. And it was actually uh, 4.53 and the Milky Way was visible for 4.52. It was only visible for about 10 minutes or so. And uh, I got up, went for a wee. I'm sure it was in that direction the Milky Way should have been, but I couldn't see it. Um, it was a few clouds, so that might have uh, obscured it. But, uh, yeah. Not sure what I'm going to do today. Uh, I was planning on going down to Tavy Cleave, but I'm so tired I can't really be bothered. Uh, I might do it though, or the other option is to kind of go back the way I come, or um, down through the Dole Brook. Um, it's a lovely stream that goes down the hill there, so I could try and get some uh, silky water shots from down there. Like I said to you yesterday, it's uh, more about me getting out and relaxing than the filming, although I felt I did have to film because I've not done it for five months. But I do want to try and get some cinematic shots too. So it's time to uh, get a brew on and make breakfast. Right, as you can see, I'm all packed up and ready to go. This is where I was last night. And as always, leave no trace. Absolutely stunning morning this morning. I think what I'm going to do is walk over to Hair Tour, see what's on the other side of there, come back down, possibly nip up to Ridgery Cross and attempt some filming up there, back down to the Dole Tour Brick, uh, down to the Ford, and back to uh, back to the Dartmoor Inn and maybe get the bus back. Maybe I will be getting the bus back. What am I on about? So I had my breakfast this morning. All I had was um, an Audi golden syrup porridge. There's no point in filming that. Um, also, uh, I forgot to show you yesterday, my wife brought me this uh, case from my pocket too. Really handy thing. It fits everything into it. And uh, at the top there, I've got some netting, which holds my ND filters. It's so quite a handy thing to have. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and uh, see where today takes me. Oh, I'm not going to do any walking to and from shots. I just really can't be bothered to do that today. I'll uh, just save that for another video. I've just come across this boundary stone, WD19. I'm assuming that's Willsworthy and I don't know what the D is. As I was walking over, I thought this was a an old ruin, but it's uh, a cairn. Uh, smack bang in the middle of Sharp Tor and Hair Tor. Looks like it's been dismantled. That's where I camped last night, up on Sharp Tor, which have currently got loads of walkers up there.
think that's where the um, Rattlebrook meets the Tavy Cleave, and I've camped down there. There is uh, a small part which is permitted to camp. Fair tour being lit up by the sun in the background there. Following, following the Tavy Cleave along, you got unofficially, I think that's um, Sharp Tour. It's not on the map. I'm sure I asked someone about it years ago and they said it's Sharp Tour. That's Jair Tour. In fact, you can see um, Princetown Mast, and I believe that could be Great Mist Tour. The camera's definitely not going to pick it up, but you've got the south coast there. You've got the sea. And I'm pretty sure I can see the north coast there. I'm pretty sure that's the sea. Right, I better crack on before um, I get invaded by all these walkers that have just as much right as me to be up here. There's Sharp Tour and Hair Tour. Now I've made my way down to here into this old disused quarry. I think they used to quarry tin from here. I've just come across this, it's absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to get some photos from here. Uh, I was going to go to Ridgery Cross again, but I've only got a couple of hours. So I think I'm just going to do uh, some photography and filming. Right, I've uh, just made it down for Dole Torp Brook. I stopped and done a little bit of filming. Well, look at this though. Apparently, I think there's a little wild swimming place just down here. There's quite a few people down there, but I'm sure they won't be swimming today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head down here. I should be able to cross onto that track there, which will lead me up to the Dartmoor Inn. But uh, yeah, I just stopped off and done a little bit more filming up there because I remember there were some waterfalls and they looked absolutely stunning. Just gutted I haven't got enough time to stay here for a little bit longer. I can't work out where to go now. <laughs> so I do apologise this video has not been like one of my usual videos with the walking to and from shots. But as I've said, loads of times it's today is more about getting out and relaxing and i've done that it's uh last night was a bit of a disaster but i've got to say what when i woke up to go to that one one of the times my tent was frozen i really struggled to get the sip on done so I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and especially if you made it this far. Next time I come out, I'll uh, spend a bit more time on filming the way I normally film. I think I've realised now that if I want to come out and get cinematic shots, I've got to do it on a hike, not a camp. So. Uh, Oh, look at that. If I can spin you around, there you are. The sun's come out now. And that hill is probably gonna kill me. <laughs> so once again, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Take care, cheers.